Safety first. Good morning, everybody. You're watching Echo Wood Holstein's YouTube channel. Uh, got a lot of stuff going on today. We got the cows fed already. Um, we're classifying cows, and we've also got three cows that aren't walking right. One of them's really lame on a front foot, and we're gonna put them in the chute and um, see what we can find on them. So we're gonna start with that. And I think she's got an abscess on her front foot, this 1400. You can see she's not wanting to put any weight on it. And what we're gonna do is put her in the chute and figure out what it is. I can pretty much see from the outside just looking at it what it is it's on the outside claw and I'm pretty sure it's uh it's, a, it's up towards the heel so I would almost call it like a, a white line on the lateral claw which would be the outside claw so we'll just put her in the chute and um check her out okay so we did a video a few months ago on hook trimming and that's something we were gonna get on a schedule so we didn't have to do them all at once and we were gonna uh, try to keep on top of it but we really we did them all back in the spring and we really and now it's August and we really haven't done any big groups since so pretty much everybody on the farm needs trimmed again it's not like it's like we're way behind but some of them should have been done already. This cow, I think, has got a big abscess, like a big pus pocket on this right front foot. And that's why I wanted to do this cow, because we normally don't get these, but I'm pretty sure she's got one. See all the overgrowth right here? See how overgrown this is right in this area? This is the area. Like on her, she's got a bit of a corkscrewed medial claw. And this, this is pretty much the typical area for lameness. On, uh, it's the inside, but since it's corkscrewed, this is where she's likely to get lame. Now, on a normal foot that isn't corkscrewed, a corkscrewed medial would be the outside claw. And that's the same on this foot. Normally, your lameness on the front is going to be on the inside claw right here. But this one, you can see it's kind of swollen right here. And I just know from experience, she's got a problem right underneath this area. So I'm going to go with the grinder, and I think we're going to have a bit of an explosion. Okay, it's going to be right here, I think. Oh, it already blew out. But it's so nasty. See all this separation? This is all separated in here. It's not connected anymore. So it's what we got here on this uh, this outside claw. It almost looks like a puncture, like she stepped on something. Um, I don't know what she would have stepped on. They don't leave nails and stuff laying around, but it almost looks like something went up in there. And now she's got an infection here and she's lame on it. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna put glue a wood block on this hoof right here and a wood block this is a wood block and this is going to get glued onto this side so that this claw is not touching the ground so when she's walking the weight's going to be on the inside claw and giving this time this claw here time to heal okay so the first thing we're going to do is take a power rasp and uh, clean it up this is actually not a real aggressive wheel, but it's just going to roughen it up and make the glue stick better. Can we get the glue, the glue gun out, Jaren? Probably in the box. Thank you. 
So this glue is like a polyurethane. It's a two-part adhesive, and uh, it mixes as it comes through this tip. It's, it's channeled, and it mixes itself as it's coming through. And then we're just going to put it on the block and on the hoof. Do the hoof first here. Put it on the hoof. Okay. Pump it fast because it's hot out. You gotta get it on. When it's hot, you don't have much time. Down the bottom. Put the toe more. Okay. Get on there. So she is definitely gonna thank us for this. She's gonna say it feels much better when she goes out. And I've got it all over my finger. I should have gloves on, but I figured these three cows, I didn't need them. But sometimes you should just do it instead of trying to hurry. Because now I'm going to have keep peeling glue off my finger for who knows how long. So I'm just going to dig this out of here. We got the block on. And now I'm going to dig anything loose out of here so that it can drain and it doesn't become any more than what it already is. So if we, the goal is not to cut any live tissue. This is all separated right here. So it's not attached anymore. It's like a, kind of like if you'd hit your fingernail with something and it, it comes detached. That's pretty much what happened here. You can see in between here, there's a layer and it's not attached, but you got to get that off of there so that it manure and dirt and everything, even if she was out on pasture, it'd be worse yet because then you'd have dirt and stuff instead of the manure, but it would still get packed in there. Then you'd get flies in there and everything else, and you know what that would look like. So we want to get this cut out so it's just it can heal, especially now that we got the block on there. She's not going to put any weight on it. Those blocks are real saving. Cow savers. Okay, this is... That's good. Check here. Just a little bit. It doesn't feel good, but it, it's not, it's not like we're cutting life tissue because we're not. So we're just going to leave it open and we're going to let it, um, I'm going to put some iodine ointment on there before we let it down, but then we're not going to wrap it up or anything. So we got some biozide gel. It's like an iodine gel. We're just going to put some on there. The best thing we can do is leave that open. And then we're going to adjust this block so that we're going to pretend it's the hoof. So we want to get it nice. We want to get it so it's not tipped in or out. We just want flat. So I'm going to do that. Trim it. So we're going to trim up here so she doesn't catch it on anything. And so another cow doesn't step on it. Let's see how she walks on it. She might still limp pretty good. But once she gets used to it, another half hour or so, she'll be walking really good. So with the block on, she she doesn't really realize what's going on yet, but when she realizes, finally realizes that she can step on that and it's not gonna hurt anymore, she's going to walk really nice on it. So okay, well, that cow's done. We got two more to do that she's she was the worst one, but we'll see what happens with the other two. Okay, so with what we got, this is our second cow, 2574, I think her number is. She is lame on this left rear foot, and what she's got is an abscess here on the inside again. So. We're gonna end up putting a block on this side.
you can see she's got a le she's got a spot here and this is called a sole fracture usually caused by standing too much so I don't know if she didn't want to lay down or something is for a while or what the deal was but they're usually pretty painful a sole fracture but again we're not cutting life tissue we are just taking what's separated off so the manure and debris does not get trapped in there and cause a bigger problem than what we already have this foot this should all be healed over within a week where you won't even you won't see that it'll be healed over and you won't see the lesion if you get it dug out right and getting it dug out right means not cutting live tissue you do not want to cut live tissue And we did give this cow pain meds before we started trimming on her. So we're getting it dug out here. This is all separated down here yet. So you just want to get anything that's separated, it's got to come off. And why is that, Jaren? What's so, the reason for that? It stops the infection. And what doesn't get trapped in there? I don't know. I'm too tired. Okay, and we got the block positioned on here pretty nice you don't want to have the block too far to the uh, to the inside where it gets in between them claws and irritates it either now my glue my uh, glove is stuck it's hot Put just a little bit of iodine on that Here's the last cow we did, Big Moose. Let's see how she's walking. She's got a little bit of a limp, but it's not bad. And I bet by tomorrow, you won't even hardly see a limp on her. Maybe we'll try to get some video of them, those cows in a couple days, how much improvement they have walking. Big Moose's mom? Yep. Is who? 31.60. Nope, I didn't know that. Jaren and Jaren likes big moose. Here, buddy. What? 